My house is 125 years old this year. We're celebrating the quasquicentennial or something like that. Um, and uh, I kind of wanted to show everybody, anybody who's interested, what we've been doing. We've been uh, renovating, but more specifically, re -oldinating. It's a term I created that means we're taking it back to its original state. Uh, so we're taking out modernizations that were put in like in 1970s, uh, acoustic ceiling tile we removed and uh, we've been peeling wallpaper out and uh, the siding. We took the 1940s asphalt siding off the house and uh, sanded down and uh, painted the original 1894 wood clabbered siding. So, uh, it's been fun. I'm just about done with it. So, anyway, I'm going to show you what we've been doing. So, first of all, a little bit of background. I live in the historical uh, district of uh, Flint, Michigan. And uh, we're just one street over from the museum's, uh, the uh, birthplace of General Motors Corporation. is uh, right over there. You can see it through the trees there and uh, across the street from that is factory one the original factory of General Motors and uh, this neighborhood was a bedroom community if you will we call it Flint's first neighborhood where the auto workers and the executives and uh, the designers and all the support industry people lived this is uh, the original office of the Durant Dort carriage company which uh, is the birthplace of General Motors, 1908. Now a museum and the home of Genesee County Historical Association. Right across the street, Water Street, is the original Factory One. Durant and Dort first made their fortune in uh, carriages. And, um, then made a transition into automobiles. And this was their original factory for carriages, which turned into the factory, the first factory for automobiles. So right across the street from the office building is the Charles Nash house. And uh, Charles Nash was one of the early general managers of the General Motors Corporation. Later went on to found Nash Motor Company, which later became American Motors and went out of business in the 1970s. So I'm going to uh, show you a bunch of before and after pictures and videos uh, to give you an idea of uh, what we've been doing here.
Big time. We've been stripping the wallpaper from the servant's kitchen and one of the next things is the floor. When we got here, the kitchen had a plywood floor painted white, but I suspect there's something else under it. I just found hidden treasure. Uh, I'm up here on the roof taking this old 80-year-old uh, asphalt siding off the gable of my house and uh, discovered all this uh, scallop wood siding underneath and a whole row of uh, like six rosettes. What's that all about? Alright, there you go. I managed to cram a one-year project into two years because, hey, I'm retired and I like to feel like it. So, uh, you know, I work whenever I feel like it. If you are interested in uh, seeing what I'm going to do next, uh, click the subscribe button down here in the corner and the little bell icon. If you do that, you'll probably get uh, some kind of notification the next time I post a video. Thank you for your interest. Hey, look at that old dump across the street. Hmm, I wonder.